Hi guys, it's me, Vacuum Smith here, and I've done something stupid. Very stupid. As you can tell, there's a hole, and there's broken pieces of plastic that match the piece that's broken. Well, I had a lot of fun, so I took... I was having fun. thought it was a great idea to take my 1950s drill, and I had a <coughs> brush roll rod, this one right here, which has now has threads. Don't ask, that's what's coming next. Up in the chuck. And I had in here a bearing race. Where is it? Actually, I turned it back into a bearing, so it's this. Um, I had a bearing race, the inside of this bearing race. And I had the idea, because I like to watch things. I love to watch friction failures. Things get hot and melt and just come all to pieces. I think it's super entertaining. And I've always tried to re replicate things like that. And succeeded and not succeeded most of the time it happens what just happened so it crawled across here and i gave the vice grips more pressure anyways i was holding the brace with the vice grips trying to oval it out and make it rub against this rod as it's spinning at 2000 rpm because the drill spins at 2000 rpm um so while that, so that happened and it Locked down. This seized, not even like really seized, it just got really tight because, you know, vice grips do vice grip things. And the drill started spinning around because it's hooked up to the wall right now. It gets tangled up in its own cord. So I've got the drill flopping around. And then this vice grip is spinning around at 2000 RPM while it's jumping all over the place and it's literally breaking everything. I'm surprised it didn't break that. And I know what you're thinking, this crazy contraption. It's the air conditioner amplifier. It's It dented that. It dented the disinfectant wipes. Which technically not even my disinfectant wipes. I, th it, I think it hit the tripod. It just didn't break it, which is good. Uh, it probably hit something else. It unplugged... Well, actually, I unplugged it, which unplugged that. But I think you get the point of the story time. It destroyed a whole lot of things, including this. Which I promised to take care of. Um, uh -huh. this is apparently my great, great, great grandma's vacuum. Mm, so, we're going to fix it. I mean, it's my vacuum now, just so you guys know that. I thought you guys did know that, especially since I did a mess test with it. Anyhow, so I found the pieces in there. Luckily, it didn't destroy all this. It still seems fine. So, I've already put a piece of tape here, sticky side facing up. So, when I glue this all back together, it'll have a place to go. And it'll look kind of funny. Um, but it'll look better than a big old hole and then a spinning belt at the bottom. So, I guess I'll do a time lapse of trying to glue this together. And then you guys watch me with permanent fingers. <laughs> fabrication later. Ta da I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? The company that made it would approve. No, I, I don't think they would. And now that I have synthetic finger calluses, it's done. We actually already knew it was done. So now to clip it back on and put this vacuum cleaner back in its hole where it belongs. Until its next, I don't know, use. Hmm.
Well, bye, guys, and see you next time. That was a little quick, quick plastic repair on the Bissell 9 amp. Oh, I can see that from miles away. But you can also see the hole from miles away, so I prefer that. And the 1950s drill still works. I hope. Well, actually, I already tried it, so I know it still works. But just about pulled the cord out. It might have actually broke this grommet. I don't know. Okay. Nothing was terribly damaged. That was terribly damaged. And that was terribly damaged.